Yo guys, what is going on? Today is going to be hopefully a really quick, straightforward, easy tutorial on making some glitch text. So let's get into it, right? So first, we're going to just delete everything. Then you're going to go Shift A, Add, A, Add Text. Then you're going to go R, Y, 90. Then R, X. 90. And you're going to go tab and type in the text that you want. Now you've done that, go right click, set origin, and then go origin set of mass, the center of mass, sorry. And then go shift S. Now you've done that, we're going to go over to this icon, which is materials, click new, and then click on the surface, you click, and go emission. Set the emission strength to 1.5, and leave everything like that. Now go on to scene, go to the world, turn that down to zero, and then just might as well just make that black. And now we're going to add the. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, click tab, subdivide. And we're going to subdivide this. Oh, sorry. Um, give it 10 cuts. And we're going to make it smooth. And then we're gonna make it like this. And we're going to move it in front of the text. This is what got me the first time I was trying to do this. So you wanna go transmission all the way up to the top. I'm going to take roughness, take it to zero. Then, as we're using EV and it doesn't like show glass unless you have the screen space refraction on, click that, go to scene, go screen refraction, then click, and then make sure this is clicked. If that's not clicked, you won't see anything. It will be like that. So this has to be on. Um, now that's done, you want to add some modifiers. You want to add a decimate and you want to add a displacement. Click new and then go here, go to clouds. And then take the depth down to zero. Now we've done that, go to, the, go to this severe, severe and um, go to the shading. For that, get rid of all of that and get rid of this. And we're going to add a add shader. And these two add shaders are going to go connected to this, these two, and then. We have one more, like so. Mm, yeah, that should work. 
and then we're gonna add refraction and these are gonna be your colors you can do as many or as like few as you want I would go with three being the minimum um, hopefully this will work I've gone ahead and chosen some colors with a hex code so um, you can either just copy these codes in or just choose your own you don't have to use hex it's just I've got hex numbers with me and when you bring the IOR up you can see it has like um, I don't really know how to describe it. it has like kind of glitchy 3d kind of look and we are going to want to add in a timeline so that we can animate this I want to give it, let's say, 120 frames. I think that gives us around about five seconds. And um, so, time to make, time to animate all of these so that they can all do fancy things. So, this will be zero. I'm going to go I. So then this would be 0 0.1, enter, then go hover over it and click I on the keyboard, and that will give you a, um, it will basically add a keyframe at 1. And then going to be 0 0.2, I, then 0 0.3, I. And then basically keep going up as many numbers as or as many refractions as you've got. Then you want to go to round about 60 and then move everything to a 1. And now, if we give it a play, it would just be like that, you know. It's not great, but it will be. And then just wish it down. And now, but it's it's not great. So go back to zero. Go to top screen. Or the top view. Then we're gonna go shift A. Going to add in an empty empty plane. And G on the Y and move it to. Let's go here, which would be minus 10. Then we're going to go I. Then we're going to move it to 120. Then we're going to go 10. And then we're going to go 
I. So now we see this moving. Now you want to go to the sphere and go coordination object and you want to go to the object and click empty and now when this empty moves it should also react with the isosphere like so makes it like spaz out and like react so now we go to the front face view and we should now have glitchy text I'm gonna go back to the shading I'm gonna move all of these keyframes individually make them to the end make them go to the end and hopefully now it will work a bit better and there we go guys it is done all you need to do now is just add a camera and render your scene if you liked it please hit the like button and have a good rest of your day.